Welcome back, boys and girls. Today we're going to read Clifford's Christmas by Norman Bridwell. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is my dog, Clifford. Guess what holiday it is. We start celebrating Christmas on Thanksgiving. Last year, we went to the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Clifford loved the big balloons. At the end of the parade, Santa Claus came to town. The Christmas season had begun. Soon, it started to snow. My friends and I made a snowman. Clifford made one, too. Later, we went to the pond to play ice hockey. We were having a great time until... We decided that Clifford shouldn't play ice hockey anymore. Christmas was getting closer and closer. We counted the days. One day, Clifford saw some men digging up a tree. He thought it would be a nice Christmas tree for us. The tree was too big for our house, but it was just right for Clifford's. When Clifford was taking a nap, my friends and I sneaked up on him with some mistletoe. Surprise! At last, it was Christmas Eve. Clifford and I hung up his stocking. I put some presents under Clifford's tree. That night, when we were sleeping, Santa came. He landed on Clifford's roof. He walked around looking for a chimney. Oops! Help! Help! Get me out of here! Clifford woke up. He heard someone calling for help. Clifford helped. <laughs> what a surprise. Oh no, the bag of toys. It had fallen into Clifford's water bowl. The toys were ruined. Clifford felt terrible. He had to do something. So he offered Santa his own Christmas presents to give to the children. Santa smiled and patted Clifford. He told him not to worry. Then, with a wave of his magic mittens, Santa made the toys new again. After leaving some toys at my house, Santa got back in his sleigh. He said goodbye to Clifford, and away he flew until next year. On Christmas morning, Clifford and I opened our presents. It was a wonderful day. And Clifford is a wonderful dog. He makes every day Christmas Day. The end. Boys and girls, did Santa have a problem at Clifford's house? What was it? Who helped him solve it? What was Cr Clifford's big Christmas present? If you're not sure, listen to the story one more time. Merry Christmas. Bye.